Hi guys, you got Elliot from Micro Workshops, 3D printing CAD design service here. Uh, what I want to show you is just about how to make new planes in SolidWorks. So, um, whenever you start any file, you've got your front, top, and right plane. Um, and so, in this case, if I wanted to make a plane which was up here, so this is our top, which is you know in the middle of the three primary planes, and I want to make this plane all the way up here. Um, let's say just because I wanted to I've got a square and it's like this and right now I want to cut a circle into here rather than on this side so I can either just click on the face and then sketch the circle on there or the other way is I could get the top plane and I could make a new one up here so that I can cut downwards into this into this little rectangle so what I've got to do is I've got to go up to Reference Geometry up here in my Features tab. I'll click on the plane. And I want three references, so you can either use sketches or planes or faces to define uh, the parameters for the new, the new plane. So in this case, if I want this, if I want a plane up here, just perpendicular to. Uh, so I parallel to uh, the top plane here. All I've got to do is select the top plane in my first top reference. And by default, it's telling me that it wants to just shoot upwards by 10 mil. So I actually want to go a little bit higher, a little bit higher. So I'm 30 mil up. And then I just click OK. And there you got it. I've got my new plane. And then I can sketch on it. And I can make myself a little circle. And then I can go to my features and say cut into that rectangle just a little bit there so I've done that so now what, what do we do if we want to get uh, if we want to cut a shape into into this rectangle at 45 degree angle so we want to cut this way um, so what we would do is in this case we, we've got two options we can either do it by using the right plane or the top plane or we can just use some sketches to, um, to, to set up this new plane. So um, we want it at, a, let's say, a 30 degree angle, just for argument's sake. So um, we, look at, we sketch on our front plane. And let me just do that again just so you can understand. So I went to my front plane. And I go to sketch to put it in active sketch mode. And then I get just a line. And I want to say go up this way and just set my horizontal line and we just say right, so you understand we have smart dimension and then we can tell it to go 30 degrees and there you have it so um, I just have to click out of this sketch so we're in active sketch mode now I just say OK and then uh, what I want to do is I want to use this point and this point to set this new angle plane so as before you just go to your reference geometry and you click on the plane and I use this is my first reference and my second reference just here now actually what it's doing is it's just giving me another front plane which is not what I want so in order to get it to uh, come so that it's it's flat rather than standing up um, I just got to click on my right plane and sorry not my right plane my front plane and because my front plane is perpendicular to the sketch it's it's setting that 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 plane at the 30 degree angle that we want um, and now I can just click OK and uh, let's say that I just put my circle in here. You see it's like that. And we just go up to cut extrude. And we go down. We go up so you can see that it protrudes right the way through. And there you have it. It's 30 degree angle cut. Um, the things with planes that you have to sort of be aware of is, um, in in any case, it, it asks for three references, 
um, which is not always necessary. Sometimes you just need one. So if I wanted to make another, if I wanted to make another plane a little bit above this, I could just use this face like that. So I just click that face, and it's going up 30 mil above that surface. So that's another example of when you only really need one parameter, one reference to start a new plane. Um, and I can do the same with this one. So it's just by default, it's just offsetting parallel with the plane that you've selected. Um, or like we've just seen, you can just pick two, two points pretty much anywhere and it's doing the same thing. And then we just tell it perpendicular to our front plane. And there we've got another, another really funny angled plane. So it's all just about using sketches um, to do the more complicated angles. Um, so yeah, hopefully you found that helpful. Um, and go to the next part of this video to see a slightly more in-depth version.